Other news this afternoon, worries on Wall Street. Right now, the Dow Jones is down more than 800 points. This is stocks around the world tumble amid fears of an economic slowdown. Eyewitness News anchor Tanya Rivera is in the newsroom with more on what is fueling this and what we can expect moving forward. Tanya? Well, Sandra, the Dow does appear to be stabilizing a bit after the big sell-off this morning. Friday's disappointing jobs report leading to a cascading response in global markets, all fueling concerns of a possible recession. So here's where we are right now. The big board showing the Dow down around 800 points, but it does seem to be hovering in that area. Meanwhile, experts say a perfect storm is what led to the Dow losing over 1,000 points this morning and the Nasdaq cratering for a number of uh, technology companies missed earnings or disappointed in their earnings, looked due largely to um, investing in the artificial intelligence space. And that led to a sell off in those stocks. In the middle of the week, the Federal Reserve met and declined to lower interest rates. Uh, and that led into the Friday jobs report showing uh, a tick up in unemployment. And of course, that jobs report showing just 114,000 jobs added for the month. That is far below the expectations of 185,000. The unemployment rate now at 4.3 percent. That is the highest level since October 2021. Investors again felt that pain globally with the sell off beginning in Japan overnight, where the Nikkei average dropped more than 12 percent. That was its worst day of trading since 1987. Again, here on Wall Street, the Dow is regaining some ground this afternoon and experts say you know this happens sometimes there's a sell-off in the market don't panic if you're worried about your 401k keep a cool head again experts say today is not the day to make any big moves with your portfolio we'll of course be watching the markets all day long today on eyewitness news in the newsroom tanya rivero channel 7 eyewitness news